Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial by AnalystQ. In this tutorial, we'll be showing you how to set up EmbedPy and JupyterQ. A quick recap, if you don't know what EmbedPy and JupyterQ are, these are two new libraries that were introduced by KX recently, a few months ago. EmbedPy is a game changer. It allows you to um, run Python code from your Q environment. Basically, it opens all the Q and KDB developers to everything that you know Python can do. So it's very exciting, especially since um, Python has a lot of uh, libraries, mature libraries already available, uh, which Q can now take advantage of, such as matplotlib for graphing. Then second library that they introduced was JupyterQ, which allows you to use Jupyter Notebooks with a Q kernel. So now you can, you know, you can use it as a basically an IDE, which is what I use it as, and you can run Q code directly from uh, Jupyter Notebook, and then you can switch to Python and then graph it. So it's very nice. You'll see what I mean if you've never used it before. So let's get started. As a prerequisite, you must have QKDB and uh, Conda installed to follow along with this tutorial. So if you haven't done that already, I recommend that you watch one of our previous tutorials that shows you how to do that. Or you can follow along on this blog post that we wrote a few weeks ago about installing KDB, JupyterQ, and BetPy using Conda. So we're going to skip to the installing EmbedPy part. So just make sure you have your Q and Conda installed. You can do that by running these two commands. And once you've made sure, just type in this command, Conda install dash C KX embed pi. Embed pi is a quite uh, lightweight module, so it shouldn't take that long to install it. Okay, yes, and there you go. So just to make sure that we have everything installed properly, I'm going to run my Q session and then kind of run some Python code. So just say P parentheses and make sure there's no space after that and type in, um, you know, we're going to create a variable. So test variable, hello world. Okay, perfect. And then we're going to print it out. So this is some basic Python code to just assign a, create a new variable and then print out the value. And as you can see, this works. So we have successfully installed EmbedPy. Now let's install JupyterQ. So we're gonna run the same command as earlier. Just change the library name. Okay. Yes, perfect. So that was pretty fast as well. Now to actually launch Jupyter Notebook, you can run this command, Jupyter Notebook. And there you go. It should automatically open up a browser and a, a website for you. <clears throat> so you can start over here, new. And then for me, I already have a Python 3 session but now I also have a queue session. So if I go there, here's my notebook. So I can rename it over here. List queue demo. Um, once you have the trusted, you know that the kernel has started fully. So now you can start typing some code. So let's create a queue table here. IBM and then price is 100, 200, and 300. And then shift enter would run this code. And then let's see if that worked. So there you go. So we're, we're now able to actually see the table. That means our code here, Q code here, actually worked. Now, we sh because we have embed Py installed as well, we should be able to run Python code over here too. So we can you know, run our code again blah blah this time and then 
print taskbar. Perfect. So we have successfully installed both Jupyter Q and Embed Pi, which is why we are able to run Jupyter Notebook uh, and be able to run Q through that, and then as well as Python. So this is the end of this tutorial. In uh, one of our future tutorials, we'll cover how you can manipulate data structures from um, both in Q and Python together and then pass them around. For example, you might want to do your data crunching in Q and then plot it using Python's famous matplotlib uh, library. As always, if you have any questions or feedback, feel free to email me at himanchu at analysthue.com and see you later. Bye.